Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Hi. We, we are here to talk about White Sands National Park, which is, well, Susan will give you some stats on that, but we are currently in the KOA in Las Cruces, New Mexico. So you want to give them yeah. some stats? and So stuff? approximately 46 miles from Las Cruces, and I'll be honest, I don't know if that's from our KOA or from Las Cruces Probably proper. Center. Um, is in northeast-ish is White Sands National Park. Um, it's 275 square miles of gypsum sand dunes, and that makes it the largest gypsum sand dune field in the world. In the world. Right here in the United States, in the world. In the whole world. So it is a national park now, but up until 2019, it was actually just a national monument. And it was interesting... Um, there's the national park sign right when you get to the park in front of the visitor center, but the road leading up to it, so maybe a mile before right. the park or so, and that sign still says that it's a national monument. They haven't haven't changed that one yet. So um, it's pet friendly, which is great. I don't. Did we see anybody there with dogs? Oh yeah, we sure did. Okay, I certainly did at night. Okay, I don't. Back. Yeah, I don't remember when we went there if I saw anybody. There were tons of dogs with dogs. Um, right now, because of, you know, it gets dark earlier, they have seasonal hours, so it's only open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., but that changes as there's more daylight during the day. And they have five trails you can do there. Four of them are, you'd be classified as easy. One of them, as a matter of fact, is a boardwalk trail, so it's stroller and ADA friendly. And there's one trail that's almost five miles long, toward the very back, the road through the park kind of makes a loop, and that is called the... Alkali. Alkali. I even tried to write it phonetically <laughs> so I would do it. Alkali Trail. Um, and that, from what I've heard other people talk about, has you traveling up and over those sand dunes, so it's considered moderate to challenging, um, and we would have liked to have done that, but we just, we didn't have time. We didn't take Gipper with us that day, um, so we needed to get back. But the very best thing to go to this park and do is to go sledding. Right. You know that metal plate in my head? Ah, how can I forget? I had to have it replaced because every time Catherine revved up the microwave, I'd piss my pants and forget who I was for a half hour or so. So much fun. And we just thought it was going to be one of those hokey, yeah. novelty things to do. Ah, it was a blast. Yeah, and we're lucky because at this KOA we're at, they have the free saucers, you know, just regular uh, mm -hmm. sledding saucers like, you, like you'd see anywhere on snow. Um, and so they're, they're free to, to use here. But you can, you can buy them at the visitor center or rent them at the visitor center. I think if you buy them, they're 20 bucks. Then you can sell them back to them for five or something like that. No, they only, yeah, they only, yeah, they give you $4 back right. if you turn them back so, in. So, um, and, and a lot of the stores, I think, around there sell them as well. But so, like Susan said, I really just expected this to be kind of a novelty kind of thing. You have to go out and do it because everybody does it. You don't want to be the person that doesn't do it. Um, or you take, you know, a bunch of kids out there to do it because it's, you know, it, it's more kid friendly than anything. But let me tell you, that was a blast getting on those toboggans. And by the way, there's, and you can, there are a million places, there's not a sand toboggan hill. I mean, you can, wherever you can find a place to park, if you want to go sledding down that hill, you can go sledding down that hill. There, there, there's nothing, uh, there's not like a designated area for that. And they have, because these are sand dudes, they have sand dudes all kinds of, you know, shapes and sizes and, and steepness and inclines and, and height. So, I mean, there's a sand dune for everybody out there. <laughs> yeah, sand dune for everybody out there. And um, some people start off on the bunny hill. <laughs> Ta-da! There's I did. One, she went to the Bunny Hill for about two, and then said, "I'm going up." <laughs> uh, went to the Black Diamond Hills after that, but uh, it was a blast, total blast. I expected to go there, slide down a couple times, and say, "All right, I slid down it." Holy 
check. Move on. I'm done. Now let's go hike. Let's go find some of these yeah. uh, trails and I'll go hike them. But total blast. And interesting. Um, so we woke up in the morning. Um, there wasn't a big rush right. on our part to get out super early or anything. It was only like an that. hour drive. Yeah. It was only an hour drive. So the mountains out here up as well, the Oregon Mountains. Are stunning. I, we're, we both are just yeah. mesmerized by them. I hypnotized. And so we saw them the day before, saw what they look like, and I woke up in the morning and I'm like, looks like there's snow on the mountains. But you didn't think there I would be I because, sure what it was. yeah, because they weren't high enough or yeah, something like I that. Didn't, I didn't. It was snow. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, as we started driving and heading that direction, as a matter of fact, they had warning signs about icy conditions and we actually even saw a snow plow out there and um, some folks that I had met earlier in the day we saw her again shout out to Amy hey Amy if you're watching this video um, they got stopped on that road they they couldn't they closed it yeah for a they bit. closed it so and she was worried about us because she thought we were actually um, taking Hoosier up there with us but um, would have never guessed that we would have had snow. Yeah, they had state troopers actually basically running a loop doing pace cars. Yeah. Um, and so, but we got up over it, and it was just because we were going up over a mountain, because, you know, down here where we are, it was fine, no big yeah. deal. Go up over the mountain, and it was kind of slick and, and, and snowy. Uh, from Indiana, it wasn't that big a deal. I wasn't, I'm like, I don't know what this is all about, but... It was a big deal here. And then when you got over the mountain and went back down, um, you know, we went up 10 degrees in five miles. Mm -hmm. And so it was fine. By the time we got to the park, all the snow was gone. So, And I maybe already mentioned this, but um, unlike most national parks, yeah, we did talk about this, but dog that it is dog friendly. And that's unusual for a national park. Most right. national parks are not pet friendly. So um, we have watched some videos of people who've taken their dogs and they're just running and having a blast in that sand and obviously Gipper's right. too old to kind of be available yeah, for those shenanigans nowadays but right, right but it was a total blast um I went down this the hill a couple times probably four or five times we have video of it that we're going to show you of my near death head over heels tumbling that she laughed so hard she was in tears. I made sure he was fine first mm. before yeah, I started she, giggling. She, here. Oh, are you okay? Are you, oh, are you okay? Oh my God, you okay? You right? were chuckling as well. Oh yeah, and she then, was really concerned about my. <laughs> and God love him. I mean, he had sand <laughs> all, over, and he had this big clump in his ear and. <laughs> all over you <laughs> yeah it was a mess but uh got back up and did it again because it was a total blast <laughs> um but anyway we'll show some video of that and i actually went back a second time um to do some i guess you call it sunset photography because you know that like like you said it closed at six o'clock so you can't really do a lot of night photography but i went back a second time to uh, do some night photography tons and tons of people there again um, I think a lot of people go there just to watch the sunset over the mountains and over the dunes. And I've never seen a place where the lighting could change so fast from like, you know, it'd be nice and bright and sunny and blue to then it went to purple. Um, and then it went to uh, like a cold kind of blue and different all of these. It was just absolutely uh, stunning to look at. But like I said, they, they kicked us out before it went down. Uh, or before it got real dark, so I couldn't really get any, um, um, you know, starlight or star trail kind of pictures. But mm -hmm. it was nice. That's the nice thing about it being only a, you know an hour away. Yeah. You can, in and fact, they, she's going to go up there again. Yeah, and so they do have a four o'clock sunset. I think it was called stroll. Might sunset have stroll. So, sunset stroll. And so we want to go back for that. We'll probably take Gipper with us on that trip because yeah. um, we need to do our family photo in front of the National Park sign and then he'll be fine you know the temperatures have been very pleasant here especially yeah. at night and he'll be fine just staying in the car while we do that the sunset best. stroll so we're looking forward to that as well and tomorrow I'm going back with um, some friends who are in from Indiana the Speedway Running Club has sent 
six representatives and they are also going to do the half marathon in Las Cruces this Saturday. So we're going back tomorrow to go sledding after we go to pack a pickup. Right. So enjoy the video. Um, I will, I don't know how I'm going to edit this out. So I don't know if we're going to do all this first and then go straight to the video and pictures or if I'm just going to edit those over us talking. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Um, that's always a game time decision. But um, at any rate, go. Highly if recommend. Oh my gosh, go. And, do, and get the sled. And find a sled. If you can't find a sled, you don't have one, you don't have one you can borrow, you don't have a Walmart that has a sled, pony up the 20 bucks. Oh, it helps the parks program. Get that sled and the wax. And go down those sand dunes. Oh my gosh. You, you will, will not, not regret, regret it. it. You will not regret it. <laughs> so much. Unless, fun. unless you do the head over he or head over heels thing, and your spouse is going to the other just you know laughs her ass off at you. We're done. <laughs> go. <laughs> turd. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> we don't need the turd word in there either. I'm the editor here.